thanks Miss Allred for supplying us Tootsie Rolls and you're just cutting us off cold turkey, but I guess we'll have to survive. Thank you Mrs. Allred for all you do for us. My favorite memory in vlogging was the gingerbread houses. I still think we should have won, but it's fine. We, we love, love you! you. Okay, 3.14159265358979323846264333. Gemma, what's your favorite pie? Chocolate. Chocolate? Do you like whipped cream? Yes. Tons I of it. I do too. I like banana cream or pumpkin. Do you guys buy your pie or do you make it? Buy it and make it. it. We do both. Yeah, <laughs> depends. Miss Lyons, what's your favorite kind of pie? Mmm, banana cream. Me too. What's your favorite pie? It's a split between banana cream and pumpkin. That's exactly how I am. Oh, what's your favorite pie? Uh, coconut cream, for sure. Yum. All right, ask okay. me. What's your favorite kind of pie? Pumpkin pie. Pumpkin pie? Do you like to buy it or do you make it? Buy it. Buy it? <laughs> what's your favorite kind of pie? All of them. All of them? It's a good yeah. answer. Do you like whipped cream on it? Yes. Yeah. What's your favorite kind of pie? Pumpkin pie. Do you like whipped cream on it? <laughs> no. No whipped cream. Favorite kind of pie? Apple pie. Do you like whipped cream? Yes. What's your favorite kind of pie? My favorite kind of pie is pumpkin. Pumpkin. What's your favorite kind of pie? Sweet. What's your favorite kind of pie? Huh? What's your favorite kind of pie? Uh, I don't think Okay. What's your favorite kind of pie? Apple. What's your favorite kind of pie? Pumpkin. All right, JC, what's your favorite kind of pie? Apple pie. What's your favorite kind, Sawyer? Uh, coconut cream. What's your favorite kind? I like pie. Okay, perfect. What's your favorite kind? I like pie. What's your favorite kind of pie? Oh, wow. What's your favorite kind of pie, Gavin? Okay, what's your favorite kind of pie? Chocolate cream. All right, what's your favorite kind? Coconut cream. Nice. What's your favorite kind of pie, Adam? Apple. That's a great question. Um, Blueberry pie. What's your Absolutely. favorite? Absolutely. Apple pie. Brayden, what's your favorite? Apple pie. Apple? Blueberry pie. Favorite pie? Blueberry pie. Blueberry pie. Blueberry? Blueberry. Blueberry. Peach. Peach? I like triple berry. I'm um, peanut butter silk from Perkins. Mm -hmm. Favorite kind of pie? Um, pecan. Yeah. So, Kaylee McCracken, she designed a pair of shoes, and we'll show the shoes that she designed, but she entered a contest, and she won the contest, and so her shoes are going to be, or her shoe design is going to be made into an actual pair of tennis shoes, and so we are super proud of her, and want to tell her congratulations, and here's her interview. What made you want to enter the contest, and how did you hear about it? My sister sent me a text and told me that I should do it, so I did. So what inspired you to design these shoes? Um, nothing really. I just picked colors that I liked and my sister told me to do it. And how do you feel that they're going to be like actual shoes? I think it's cool. Kevin Hines is an award-winning brain, mental health, and suicide prevention activist, entrepreneur, multiple award-winning filmmaker, best-selling author, international educator and speaker who reaches audiences with his story of an unlikely survival and his strong will to live. 21 years ago, all I wanted was for one person to see me, see my pain, and say something kind. Are you okay? Is something wrong? Or kid, can I help you? And I would have told that person everything and begged them to save me. I was wondering, um, what would you say to BHS like two weeks after they've marinated on everything you said and they've processed it all? I would say to BHS, I'll look right in the camera. Whatever you're going through, whatever painful struggle you're dealing with, you can fight that pain. Don't let it defeat you. I said it in the presentations, I'll say it here again. 
Work hard on your mental brain, mind, and behavioral health and well-being. It's crucial. We all have mental health. We all have to take care of it. If we don't, it goes south and we have a really hard time. You have the power to shift that mental pain into positivity. Recite, repeat, believe positive things about yourself and you will believe it. Pain is inevitable. Suffering is optional. Every clinician I ever met told me that I was suffering from bipolar disorder, suffering from depression, suffering from mental illness, and suffering from an eating disorder. Suffering, 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 suffering. They told me that. I adopted that narrative as my own, and I became the sufferer. But that only made me the victim of my own story. It wasn't until I recognized that I could defeat my pain one day at a time if I so believed that pain didn't have to defeat me. I could let it build me brick by brick from the ground up to be stronger than ever. Um, what is one of the biggest things you do now to help you when you're struggling? One of the biggest things I do has to do with a resonance breathing because I, I live with a lot of anxiety. So uh, when I'm anxious, I inhale four seconds through my nose. I hold for four seconds. I release eight seconds like pursed lips, like a whistle with no sound. I do it 30 to 40 times whenever I'm anxious or as long as it takes to get out of the anxiety uh, ridden and behavior. Um, when I'm having a panic attack, I do the same thing. When I wake up doing that, I do that in the afternoon, I do it at night. Suicide is not your solution. If you are in mental pain, if you today are considering suicide, please come up to a staff member, a teacher or a counselor or myself and ask for help because you deserve it. If you don't want to ask for it here, if you're too embarrassed about it, text the crisis text line. Text CNQR to 741741. The crisis text line, you can look that up. That CNQR is our foundation's keyword. It stands for something very important. It stands for conquer your pain. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me, I appreciate it. Thank you for letting me interview you. It was Thank a pleasure you. to have you. And to all of you watching, be here tomorrow and every day after that. So we're outside doing sidewalk chalk. Let me see this. And. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Your little mouth. This is cute, and that's an outline of Michelle. Yes. <laughs> you probably need hair though. Oh my gosh, that cute. looks like me when I wake up. I love it. <laughs> With the hair and everything. Gemma, what are you doing? I think you know. Huh? I, bet I think you know. It's uh, a pork and pop. It's a what? It's a bobcat. A bobcat? Yeah. Good. Okay, what are you doing? I'm writing Be Happy. Oh, that is so cute. I love the pink. Okay, and I did a really bad paw print, but I did. Go Bobcats! Gemma? Yeah? You're so good. Thank you. I just took the words right out of my mouth. <laughs> Thank really you. Good. Well, it went really well since we like won state, and it was just a great experience to experience like winning state. It was amazing. And how did you guys feel going into state? Did you think you were going to win? Or? Um, that was definitely our goal, but we knew we had to focus on our first two games to make it to the state championship, so we really focused on those to make it there, and then we won. <laughs> Perfect. Yes, that was the goal. So, tell us about how state two went for you. It was really good. We got third place. <laughs> And what was the goal like going into state? Like what was your guys' game plan? We wanted just to have good attitudes and um, to have good team morale, I guess, and to be Bonneville, but we didn't do that. So maybe <laughs> next year. All right, well, congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> so how'd you guys do at state? Um, I got fifth place. I got sixth. Uh, so what are you guys uh, wrestling at? Um, I wrestled 152. 98. And how many years have you been doing this? Um, I've been doing it for 12 years. And how do you guys think your season went like overall? Overall, I think it was a really good season, a good one to end on for my senior year. Um, we won a lot of games, we had a good team, a team bond, and we had a really hard work at ethics. And how did you feel like going into state? Um, I really felt like we could win the state championship. We had that bond and we had that um, fight and the power, so. Yeah.